Hi guys, Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are heading up to Jackson's Point. At Jackson's Point there is a parking area where we can park the car and then about a mile uh, hike up the beach from there because uh, we are on the um, uh, Georgian Bay part of the Lake Huron and the Great Lakes in Ontario. Uh, so about a mile up the beach from there um, I noticed that there's some rocks that are kind of protruding out into Georgian Bay or into the lake and I thought to myself you know what at some point I've got to get back here take a closer look at these because these rocks could lend themselves to a, um, a black and white image maybe uh, something along the lines of a fine art image um, and I thought today is a great day for me to come out and do that simply because I have some time uh, the conditions are not the best uh, it is a little bit windy out which means the lake is a little rough I was kind of hoping it would be much smoother uh, but we'll see if we can slow things down if we need to with an ND filter. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that. Uh, so it's going to be a black and white image. Um, and we're looking for something that is printable, something that we can actually frame. Um, now one thing I, I do, I do a lot of framed images, landscape images, that are sold in galleries and different venues and so on. And for me, there is a huge difference between a digital image and a printable image. Uh, just to give you an example, for every, um, say, 100 images I take, um, only maybe 5 or 10 of those I would look at presenting in a digital format. In a digital format, it's much easier to create an image that is presentable. Printed format is a whole different ballgame. To give you an example of that, or the ratio of that, for every 100 images that I would present digitally, there might be one, maybe two if I'm lucky, that I would actually go ahead and print, mat, and frame and offer for sale in a gallery. So as you can see, if you kind of do the math there, it can take me an awful lot of images uh, before I come across one or before I create one that I think, you know what, I really want to, I want to print that image, I want to frame that image, and I want to share it with, with the public and offer it for sale. But today we woke up and we said we're going to work specifically on a printed image. So that's the quality we're looking for today. Now, um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't get out any earlier today due to other work commitments that I had. Um, fine. So, if you've watched some of my other videos, I do believe that if 10 o'clock in the morning is the time you can get out, and it's the only time you can get out, then it's a good time to get out and shoot. Secondly, we have a clear, clear blue sky with a bright sunshine. Again, not particularly what I was hoping for today. I was hoping for something a little uh, more overcast maybe, uh, because again, I'm looking for something uh, a little diffused, if you will. Again, something that might be uh, a fine arts type, type image. But we've got bright sunshine with blue, blue sky. Okay, fine, so be it. We'll work with it, we'll see what we can do with that. Now, we are going to be shooting rocks in the lake. It is still a little breezy today, so the water movement is quite, you know, quite rough. The lake is quite rough. So we're going to have wet rocks with bright sunshine. That tells us something. We're going to have to polarize the lens today. So we're definitely going to be using a polarizing filter. That's going to drop the light by about two stops right there, but it is super bright. And if we want to flatten out the lake a little bit, we probably have to use an ND filter too for that today. But when we get to the, to the location, we're going to set up, we're going to have a look, and we're going to see what we can come up with today. So let's see if we can create today a printed black or a printable black and white image that we can offer for sale. Let's see how we make out. Let's enjoy the ride. Got myself a cup of coffee. Off we go. Okay guys, so um, we've arrived at Jackson Point. Now, it is super, super windy right now um, and I don't expect the wind to go away. Uh, so I hope my mi microphone is doing okay in this wind. But anyhow, um, as you can see, there's Georgian Bay. There's the lake. It is quite rough today. Um, the weather is nice, uh, a little bit cool, especially in that wind, um, but you know what? We're going to hike about a mile up the beach and we're going to see if we can find those rocks and we're going to see if we can capture that black and white image that we're talking about. I've got all my gear packed up, ready to go, so let's go for a hike. Let's see what we can find. Well, uh, 
Yeah, it's windy. I'd say the uh, the winds are about oh 20 miles an hour right now, uh, but that's okay. Um, we're heading our way up to the rocks. In fact, if I turn the camera this way, you can probably see the rocks ahead of us just pushing out into the lake here. Oh, so that's what we're actually going to try to photograph today. Um, it's just great to be out. It's great to be out here and it's great to be doing this. So, you know what? <laughs> However the images turn out, it's been great already. But we are going to capture that image. We are today. Man! I'm so lucky, you know. I really am a lucky person. <laughs> Living here in Ontario, um, it's great. Uh, now the winters, we get a lot of snow. I'm sure you've seen some of my videos and you see the snow, but um, it still is a beautiful place to live. Uh, yeah. I know there's some amazing places out there. Uh, last November I was in Iceland. That was gorgeous. Uh, in March I was in the Lake District in Yorkshire Dales in England. Absolutely stunning. But this is where we are right now. Okay, so arriving at our shoot loca location. Right here, this is the rocks that I'd seen. I like this how it protrudes out into the water. Uh, we've got a beautiful color on the, like a bluey green kind of uh, color on the lake today. And you know what? I think it will lend itself to a nice black and white image. So that's what we're going to try and shoot today. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to get the tripod and the camera and so on set up. That's going to take me a few minutes. We are going to put on the polarizing filter. Um, so yeah, give me a few minutes to set up. We'll get back. We'll see how we're doing. Okay guys, so we're all set up here. Um, we've gone with um, a vertical orientation um, or portrait orientation, so I'm using my L bracket. Now today I'm using my uh, trusty Canon 50D, which I really love for my daytime landscape photography. I just love that camera. I'm using my 28 to, uh, 28 to 135 mil Canon lens. Um, I have put my polarizer on there, so that's reducing things by those two stops. I also have an 8-stop ND filter on there. Now, and an f-stop of 22, an ISO of 100, that's giving me a shutter speed of half a second. I'm hoping that half a second is enough just to smooth off the water. If I turn the camera around here to those rocks, you can see uh, at times there's some little white caps there just bouncing off those rocks. It's quite breezy out here today. Um, in fact, I'm hoping to get the drone up for some aerial footage to show you, but I'm just not sure if it's going to be too windy for that, but we'll see. So, yeah, we're all set up, so let's just go over to the camera here. Now, I have got it set on a two-second timer. I've already pre-focused. I've already set the settings. Here goes. So, yeah, that's it. It's in the bag. That's the, that's the shot. Once we get back to the studio, we'll be able to have a look and see what we actually captured there. So again, I'm using my Canon 50D, I'm using my 28 to 135 mil lens, I have a polarizer on there, and I have an 8-stop ND filter on there. I have an ISO of 100, uh, I have an F-stop of F22, and that's giving me half a second. Let's see what happens. I'll talk to you in a little bit, we're going to see if we can get the drone up and see how we go there. Talk to you soon.
Okay, so we finished that shoot of the rocks. Um, it will be interesting to see how we made out today. Um, the air was surprisingly cold, um, but the breeze was very strong. So just a little bit of a recap now of some settings because I wasn't, I'm not sure if it was just too windy out there for, uh, you know, the microphone and so on. So let's recap the settings real quick. So first of all, I was using my Canon 50D. That's my favorite landscape daytime camera. I was using my Canon 28 to 135 mil lens. Uh, <clears throat> I did use my polarizer. Um, so that, that reduces light by approximately two stops. I also used a eight stop ND filter. I had a F stop of F22. I had a ISO of 100 and that gave me a shutter speed of around one fourth to a half of a second. Uh, hopefully that's enough to kind of smooth out the water. Granted, I could use um, a bigger or more powerful um, ND filter or I could stack my filters and I agree but the filters I'm using right now are a, um, a less expensive or a cheaper br uh, brand and they're called Ranger. Now for the whole set the filter holders, adapters, a set of um, graduated filters and a set of ND filters is only like $150 Canadian so as you can see they're not at all an expensive or quality kind of um, set of filters and what I found is if I stack them or if I go too strong on the filter then I start to get some real weird kind of color and, and, and really hard to work with but I've also found that if I keep it like uh, lower down if you will use like my four stop and maybe my eight stop ND filters then they're not too too bad and I can maybe work with that in post so that's what I was trying to do there and hence F22 just to try to slow things down more or less light so yeah so that's what I did so right now we're on our way back uh, we're gonna go into the studio we're gonna download these into the computer and we're gonna see how we make out so hey let's just enjoy the ride back home and we'll talk to you back in the studio see you later okay guys so we're back in the studio we've done um, quite a bit of editing to those images that we took of the rocks um, in all truthfulness I probably generally would not print any of these although there are some that are uh, digitally acceptable <clears throat> but because I said we were going to find one that we could print we are going to print one so I'm gonna go over to my trusty computer here I am gonna engage the printing system and we're going to start printing okay. well here it comes this is exciting so exciting so the size we're actually printing is a 12 inch by 18 inch um, with a portrait or vertical orientation so yeah so far so good I think it's looking pretty good. Mm. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so there. Is that okay, okay guys so let's just recap for a second we decided we were going to go out we were going to get a black and white image uh, possibly something along along a uh, fine arts type image we were going to frame it in a particular frame uh, that I had which is actually this frame right here here's our finished image so I wanted to show you that so we went out on a terrible day it was about the time we did this got to the shoot the time we set up and did the shoot was probably 11 a.m it was bright bright sunshine clear blue sky um, just all the wrong conditions for what I was looking for but those were the conditions we had 
So, this is what we came up with. This is the image right here. I know there's probably a little bit of glare on that uh, from my lights here, uh, and I do apologize. But that's the finished image, framed. I hope you can see that fine. And there you go. That's what we did. Um, is it a great image? No, of course not. But you know what? That is going to go in the um, gallery, and it will sell. So there you go. Thank you for watching Gary Clayton Photography. Hope you've got something out of this video. I have a great deal of fun producing these videos. Please like, share, leave a comment, and please subscribe. I do need, need, do need subscribers. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you.